Alright. What will we doing? The electors we have met thus far have have all had their peculiarities, but each we felt would judge claimants equally. This Z Rail Ja, however, seems set in his belief that only blessed siblings are worthy of the throne. Why would the Dawn Servant name an openly biased man elector? Worrying over Zirel job won't get us anywhere. That lady, on the other hand, was the first person to address us with any civility since we arrived. We should go and meet her, hear what she has to say. The western outskirts, right? The city of madness! I bet you this is Bakul's Jaja's mother. Uh, um, thank you for coming. My name is M Mila Ja. Here we may talk freely away from prying eyes. And what was it you wished to talk about? Tell me, what do you think of Momok? We all? Well, we don't have much to say yet. No one wants to speak with us. All who remain in this city are devoted to the traditional ways. They believe that blessed siblings are superior, that only they are worthy to lead the peoples of this continent. Most would not deem to address outsiders, deeming them beneath the notice. Sounds like an ideal community, so far as Bakol Jaja is concerned. I am tired, exhausted by this, this senselessness. There are others like me, but we do not speak our truth out loud, aloud. Yet now we have an opportunity to reclaim our agency. For you have bested the cool judge up. You, an ex for all, inferior by all presumptions. Presumptions triumphed over our two headed champion. This time, anyway, next time I might not be so lucky. But Cole Jaja is just that strong. I seriously don't understand why he cheats so much. It seems to me he'd do better if he just trusted his own abilities. He's desperate. Other blessed siblings have fallen before. Mola Jaja of the Silver Scales, for one. He traveled across the salt in search of conquest, only to be overcome. But no matter how the individual may falter, the people still believe in blessed sibling supremacy. Because of my father. He who united to raw under one rule, who in our eyes stand as testament to the tradition's infallibility, regardless of your father's virtuous intent, its greatest triumph has already fanned the flames of our people's obsession. However, as both his daughter and claimant to his legacy, your triumph could prove that draw Jaja's true strength lies not in his birth, but in his character. And in doing so, you may give us the strength to renounce blessed siblings forever. I can understand wanting to forsake Zelly, Zelator, Zelatory, Zel, Zelatory, but isn't forsaking two-headed mom or child going a bit far? You must decide that for yourself. Whether the price we pay is worth an empty dream.
the hop harvest. Oh, this will give us the next level. There is a place that will help you to understand our plight. It lies far to the west of here. Follow me. Uh, do we have to travel? Oh yeah, I forgot. The quests are bound to... Depending on what level you grab it. Like side quest. Is that a meteorite up there? I am judging by their attachment. That tree must be must benefit from the meteorite's unique ether. Ether. Anyway, we should press on. Mila Ja was anxious for us to see whatever it is she has to show us. Look, 95. Oh, yeah, when do I get? I get my next ability at level 96. Yeah. A honey. Like, is not. I'd love to talk to my Mamoja hunters and learn about their ways, except they probably ignore me. The others have continued on. Let's catch up to them. I swear to God, if we go to a dungeon and, uh, what is it, like, the weird gi giant watery in monster, I forget. it looks like a spear that's just all watery is in it, that's gonna be the biggest reference to 10, and I'll just be like, I'm done. We're done. <laughs> We're in 10 territory. <clears throat> I forget what it's called, though. It's not called Aquasphere, I know that. It's called something else. This is the place you wanted to show us? It lies just beyond this passage. Entry to these grounds are not permitted, even to the devout. devout. Nonetheless, I will reveal our secrets to you. Rest assured, I shall take full responsibility. Come, see for yourself the truth of the blessed. I shouldn't have looked down. The stone pier yonder. That is our destination. Well, time to jump. <laughs> to erect it there would have been no small feat. The work of your Kui hands built long, long ago. Our forebearers merely altered the entrance. Altered? To what end? It will be quicker to show you. We have beasts that can carry us below.
Oh! I've seen them. Cool cha cha. What? Could it wait to laugh at the failure? You've always come here to cry. Ever since you were little. Mother. Third promise seeks to learn about Mamuk. She may be our chance to finally end what we have been powerless to stop. Talk with her. Tell her what we have done. Fine. Perhaps it's only right that we be the ones to speak of it. <laughs> Blessed as we are. This vessel holds the remains of a two-headed babunja. An infant. We converted the ruins into a cenotaph. So the souls of these children wouldn't return as vengeful spirits. Do you know how blessed siblings are made? I've heard that they are born to Hubago and Bulawa parents. I'm guessing they don't do it the traditional way that we have children or attempt to make them <laughs> I'm guessing breeding such unions between clans were originally arranged to stop infighting the war against the Shebran is going poorly and we needed to be united then one day child was born one blessed with two heads and tremendous power when this child grew old enough to lead our army we became unstoppable the Shebral have no answer and we drove them all the way back to the trees above taste of victory awakened our greed. We became obsessed with conceiving more and more of these superior children. No matter the cost. Of the countless born, most die. Trapped in their shells. Only one in a hundred survive. If we are blessed, it is only because we yet live. Unlike our brothers and sisters who were sacrificed for the glory of Mamuk. That's horrible. Of course! 
course, it's horrible. It's an atrocity we can never take back. Those children died so that we could live. So we had to succeed, no matter what. To fail would mean it was all for nothing. Nothing. But I did fail. I squandered their sacrifice. Hmm. I sympathize with your pain. But... I should never have been born. You're wrong. You didn't ask to be born as you are, and you are responsible for your siblings' deaths. People obsessed with blessed siblings are. They made their choices, but they don't make yours. Since when do you let others push you around, Bakul Jaja? What do you want? Say it! Then you have my word. We'll put a stop to this madness. Blessed siblings are revered by their supporters as a means to achieve dominance in Tural. If we understand why they harbor such aspirations in the first place, we would be better equipped to treat with them. Indeed. I just hope they will be open to discourse. Take me with you. Those fanatics treat my words as gospel. No. There will be trouble if your father finds out you're still here. Moshutural Zush. There we will gather the people. ...and ask anything the Third Promise wishes to know. Then take one of my scales. One that blends Ehubiko and Bunewakolore. It'll serve as proof that you have our trust. People will do as you say if you show it to them.
Which is to say, you're not a complete alpaca's ass. <sighs> Thanks, Wuklema. Well, maybe it's for the best. Hatred is exhausting, after all. Indeed. So let us make the most of our newfound friendship and bring together the people of Mamuk. We have much to discover. Ronald, before we join the others, can we talk for a moment? I really hated him, you know. But poor Jaja, with every fiber of my being, he tried to ruin Inahala. Sabotaged us that on the river, kidnapped me on my for my keystone, and released the most vicious butcher for all Vidral of all time. Anything he could do to cause us pain, he did. Never in a million years would I forgive him. But the moment I understood why he did what he did, the pain he's been carrying all this time, all my anger just evaporated. He still needs to make amends. I hear you. But cool Judge Al's motives don't absolve him of his crimes. He must answer for them like anyone else. But right now, my duty is to ensure that no one in Mamok feels desperate enough to go to such lengths ever again. Anyway, thanks for listening. Now that I've voiced that, I feel readier for the challenges ahead. Come on, let's head back to the city. So that 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 image that Bakul Jaja had that we saw all the, the pots just all over the place that was just those are literally just those are literally just tombs of infant um two-headed uh, marble jaws that have that weren't able to stay alive their obsession with believing that a two-headed marble jaw is superior is has completely twisted everything Bakul Jaja's scale represents his faith in us. We won't fail him or his people. We are learning. Scale of trust. We haven't a moment to lose. Gordon Miral Ja Moxer are all souls. It's an abandoned settlement northwest of the city. It should afford us the privacy we require. We must work quickly. Least Zira Ja discover our intentions. Fortunately, Bakul Jaja thought to give us additional scales so we might cover more ground in less time. Everyone should take one and get going. Use them to gather people as you can. Hmm. Ronald, let's retrace our steps. Maybe this time we can convince folks to lend the ear.
at scale. But the blessed trust you, so will I. then so will I. What is it that you require of me? Because uh, bids us come to Maxwell's Urge. A strange place for an assembly, but very well. I will not refuse he who fights for our dreams. Tell you to move along. I can't be seen talking with the likes of you. A blessed skill and an outsider's hands. Is do you have with me? So Pajora sent you to call an assembly. I'm not sure what to make of this, but I shall go to Machiral Zolz at once. We managed to gather some of the good folks. Wonderful. The esteemed Bokol Jaja will be pleased. This fella here will be coming to Mukchirol as well. Apparently, there's a nursery to the west called Golmajek's Grove. Could you go and see who you can talk to there as well? I'll meet you in Montreal Drolls afterwards. There's just one more person I need to find. We do be learning now. What is that monstrosity? Doom. Leave this place, outsider. Oh, my apologies. I was unaware. I thank you, Bliss Scale Bailer, for bringing me word of this gathering. I show away to Mokchirol at once.
Where's Rock Flamont? Ah. Oh. Sorry to keep you waiting. You were invited the second promise as well? May I remind you that this Rate is a competition. Whatever advantage you're about to share with me, you ought to utilize your, for, to your own benefit. I have barely made headway in communicating with the locals. This rate, you lead the race to the Golden City. I need your help. Complete the beat? No, no. Momok has a problem I can't solve on my own. And you're the most clever person I know. I want you to hear the people's first hand. So that we might come up with a way to help them. Very well. I'm at your disposal. Everyone, thank you for gathering on such short notice. I am Rock Lamont, third promise of Tokyo. Promise? I thought you served Bako Jara. You deceived us? No, they did not. The scale they showed you were mine. I entrusted them to the third promise in her return. Wait. Why honor these outsiders so? Because Wat Clamot has won my trust. Now you will hear her words. Kona Jaja shared with me the truth about blessed siblings, about the price you pay to conceive them. As an outsider of your community, it is not my place to judge you and your culture. <laughs> culture is born of the experiences of its people, of their lives and their land. But it breaks my heart to know that yours has bought you all so much suffering. If any here wish to break from the cycle of tragedy that's creating, created blessing siblings demand, I ask that you join us. Please, I don't want any more of our children to die. You think we want this? We have no choice. Only blessed siblings can liberate us from our suffering. Then we have nothing. That remains to be seen. Speak with the firm promise. Share with her your worries and your pain. And together we may find a new way forward. Together? If she is trustworthy, then I will speak with her. It 
It would be best if you withdrew, my son. Many cannot yet speak freely in your presence. Let's keep an eye on Zareel Ja. He wouldn't take kindly to this sort of gathering. Once we understand everyone's concerns, we'll be better equipped to help them. Let's make sure they they feel heard. the heck is happening back there? Oh, so, oh. I'm glad Koana agreed to help us. He's always been good at solving complicated problems. Me, not so much. But I'll still go. I'll support my books, people, however I can. Like combining our respective strengths. We'll help them discover a new source of hope. I know we will. Momok speaks. Level 95. All right, Ronald, before we start, let's make sure we're remembering our history correctly. The Momo, Ja, and Xbra fought for centuries. over the land in the upper forest. But due to infighting, Mamal Jaw's forces struggled to make significant gains. In order to promote cooperation, the Habago and Bonewa clans intermarried, and that's how blessed siblings were first conceived. With that in mind, let's talk to the people and learn why they rely on blessed siblings. What you say? Whoa. This land was once rich with ore, but the Hokiori did not stop digging until all the veins were spent. The meteorites are only good for so much, even if we made overtures to traders. Little to offer. Nothing would make me happier than to make a good life for my family in the place where I was born. But that's impossible. So with resources as sparse as they are, you don't have a good sponsor for trade. Those who have known only open skies and beautiful, bountiful land cannot comprehend our plight. To thrive, we must take what we lack by force, and for that, we need the might of blessed siblings. There have to be other ways to thrive, ways that don't require fighting. Hmm. As you will have noticed, this forest is very dark. Hardly any sunlight makes it through the canopy. 
So he feels like it's always night. We plow, we fertilize, we ir irrigate. Yet our crops shrivel and die as though cursed. The only ones that grow well are is Najol, Jatika's bananas, and Toran. Try living on that and little ease for a few centuries and see how you like it. Oh, little else. A forest where nothing grows. It's not hard to imagine why you'd want to leave. Blessed siblings promise us more strength. More than strength. They promise us the sun. This forest is dark and inhospitable. When given the opportunity to live and talk to all, most of our people didn't think twice. Still, the process of being among so many outsiders was intimidating enough to keep many of us here. Blessed siblings are meant to deliver us from this accursed forest. To lead us to the fertile land above, where we might make a place for Marble Job to abide in peace and plenty. So you desire a fertile land, one that's all your own. Well, I think I'm starting to understand. Everyone had their own perspective, but all their concerns were about the forest itself, dark and fertile, cursed. Hearing that, it's little wonder that people here wish they had better land. Who better to get it for them than blessed siblings? It's hard to conceive, convince people to stay in a place that can't provide what they need. You'd think the meteorites at least would have value. No, apparently not. Hold on. Didn't Arabella mention something about the meteorites? That the ether they emit makes the plants glow blue? A rather significant philological physiological effect I would say if we were to study these meteorites we might discover other ways they influence local flora I noticed a curious algorithm of trees a meteorite just south of here determining precisely how they interact with one another may yield critical Crucial insights. Hmm. Everyone, I'm real. I really appreciate you for sharing your thoughts with us. Thanks to your insights, we have a promising idea already. We just need a moment to investigate it further, please. So please bear with us. We'll be right back. It really is incredible how our tree could support, support such an enormous boulder. The meteorite's aesthetic emissions are palpable, even from this boat. 
this seeing this again makes me feel more confident in sharing a theory of mine i suspect that only plants with an etheric affinity of to these meteorites can thrive in this forest if so the gargantuan trees that create the dense can canopy would be necessary Nece would by necessity possess the same affinity as well as the aforementioned nozzle tree indeed indeed i should like to analyze samples of meteor samples of meteorite before drawing any definitive conclusions however I carry with me a few devices that will aid in this endeavor. Perhaps you and Crowell can lend me your expertise as well. I'd like to join you. The etheric signature of those meteorites may be crucial in determining what matter of species might fare fare well here. I think I can see what they're getting at. If we can prove to them the cursed forest isn't quite so cursed, maybe the people won't feel like blessed children are their only solution. So, how can I help? Want me to climb the tree and break off a piece of meteorite for you? There are plenty, there are plenty of fragments on the ground already. It should be enough for our purpose if we gather about five pieces each. Even better, if those fragments are gathered from disparate locations. I will collect your pieces once you have them. Twelve thousand two hundred and seventy seven. And finally, six thousand six hundred thousand two hundred six hundred six hundred twenty eight thousand four hundred seventy two. <laughs> I couldn't. I can't think of a random six. Digit, just six figure number on my head. It seems. Did you find your fragments? Yep, I got all of them. For a total of 7,237,624. That's a blog. Alphano. 
Alpino and Crow and I will combine the gathered samples and conduct an analysis forthwith. Determining the wavelength may take a while, a little while. I'm hopeful that our efforts will bear fruit. Yay. I'll tell my sister to wait in your arrival at Montreal's Alge. So go and meet her there. And we'll return to the for our results as soon as possible. Yeah. I wonder if I should put that in my um my stream title that that drops are indeed enabled. My um my channel on my stream. Yeah, oddly enough, I guess if you're if you're playing Final Fantasy fourteen and you're in the category, if you have it on if you're in that category with your stream, you instantly have access to being able to for people to watch your stream for the reports. Anyone said Oh, it's a samurai. I thought I... Wait, isn't that the... Yeah, it's the ultimate red one. Okay. So I think that's the Bahama? The Bahama. Um, well, we've done all we can. The rest, we must leave to Koana and the others. I don't know the first thing about the those Charlene devices of his, but if they can bring, they can be of help to Mamuk. Glad he has them. Let's hope for this far as yet, Ronald. I can feel it. <laughs> 